that guy's name, I'll mention it again. His name is Kevin. Game Show with Coach Mark Medley and field reporter John Bryant. Brought to you by Greg Brothers Car Wash, Jim Goodall, County Clerk, by Texas Boot U.S. Shoe, Youth Reach, College Street Church of Christ, Burr's Barbecue, and by Fraser Brown Insurance. We'll go with a 10 count. Whoo! Man! That's what football is all about. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Ten. Nine. Welcome to the post game show with your host, John Bryan. My, my coach, your coach, everybody's coach of the night, Coach Mark Medley. What a game. Well, you know, we coaches, we don't have a lot to do with this thing. Uh, we had some young men that, uh, that just went out and played their, uh, played their hearts out and, uh, you know, we were giving up speed, and uh, and we felt like if we could negate the speed with taking the wide side of the field away from them, then they had to whip us, and we didn't feel like that that could happen. Uh, and I'm just so proud of these young men. It's uh, it's something. They rose to the occasion. They've uh, you know they've had their backs against the wall the last two week two weeks with the people uh, telling them you know we just are our own worst enemy, and uh, this coach probably telling them that too, and. Uh, I'll take foot, full responsibility for all that, but these these guys wearing a helmet tonight deserve all the credit for this victory. Coach, the defense, for a time for them to jail, they did a job tonight. Yeah, you know, Coach Marshall and Coach Duller, Coach Hutto, Coach Grissom, Coach Anderson, uh, they did a heck of a job preparing these kids this week, and uh, uh, they came out to, tonight and uh, and just made plays. Uh, you know, we, uh, we faced... Uh, Two great tailbacks in uh, McGowan and Duke, and uh, uh, some speed at wide out and big old fullbacks. But uh, gosh, dog it, they got the job done, and uh, and we moved the football. You know, I felt like if we didn't get the holding penalty in the first half, it, we'd been up 14 to nothing maybe at half. But uh, you know that that hurt us some. And in the last half, we had a little bit more trouble moving the football, but we uh, moved the chain some and uh, worked the clock and. Uh, Hasty made the interception, gosh dog, and <laughs> Sellers made the interception. It looked like Griffin picked one off, and oh man, it, it's a it's a good night for Lebanon football. Offensively, coach uh, against Riverdale all season, it's been tough to get uh, yards on the ground. We hit them for 150 or so in the first half. Yeah, we uh, we were opening holes, and our backs were were running hard, and uh, we maintained our blocks and. Uh, uh, there's not a lot else you can say. Uh, it's just a, it's a total team victory. Our kicking game did good. Our punt coverage was good. Uh, uh, it's just a good night. Uh, by throwing Reader in motion every play, is that something we put in just for Riverdale? Well, we wanted to give him a little more to think about, and um, we could get the formation we wanted. Uh, with Reader going in, in motion, it caused our linebackers, instead of hopefully from having to sit there and just key in on us, it had to make them just a little pre-snap and uh, I don't know how much it helped us but uh, it's just something we felt like it might give us a little edge coming in. John ask coach Medley about the crowd. Coach the crowd in the game from the get-go. Oh I tell you what you just don't realize it. I, our kids got pumped up when we came out and, and Riverdale started to shaking those rocks in the jugs over there and uh, brother Danny Sellers was in uh, Murfreesboro uh, last Thursday night watching Riverdale and uh, Mount Juliet play and he got that idea, and he and Raymond and some of our guys uh, helped this afternoon, and they loaded up a bunch of jugs, and uh, uh, we might just uh, adopt those things and take us take them with us on down the road. Coach, I noticed uh, our guys hanging on the ball, no turnovers. It's big, John. Uh, I, I think when you care, you hold on a little more, and... Uh, and these, these young men really wanted this football game tonight. And, uh, Asked and him about the article in the Murfreesboro paper. Coach, what about that article that was in the Murfreesboro paper? Well, you know, that's just a, a young man that believes in his local team, and uh, uh, he was just writing his feelings. And 
you know, there's there's nothing wrong with that. That's what high school athletics is all about. These young people learn, love to read their name in the paper and love to read good things about them. And, uh, you know, we were just, uh, you know, I, I don't think that had anything to do with it. Uh, beach next week? Yeah, beach, uh, we go on the road and, and wind this thing up in the regular season. Uh, uh, two things need to happen there. We need to play well and uh, need to leave out of there healthy. All right, Coach, congratulations. Enjoy the victory. Get ready for Beach. Uh, closing comments. Well, uh, you know, we've been here several times. Uh, last year, was a, this game was built up, and, and Lebanon folks left here feeling bad as, as did this football team, and the same thing happened uh, the last two years against Galton. I'm just uh, proud for this community and this town and the people who support this program to, uh, to leave here with a little better feeling tonight in a very big football game. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations. Great victory. Thank you, Jim. This has been the uh, post-game show with your host, John Bryan. My guest, of course, has been Coach Mark Medley. Thanks again for all the support throughout this year and our last home game as we go on the road to Beach for our post-game sponsors. Back up to you now, Terry, for those closing stats on this big 6 to nothing win against Murfreesboro Riverdale. Thank you, John. And Lebanon did win the ball game tonight, 6 to nothing, beating previously unbeaten Murfreesboro Riverdale. Lebanon improves to 8 and 1 on the season, 6 and 1 in District 5, of Fort Region 4, 5A, as they're 6 and 1 now. I'm Terry Stafford with the final stats, recapping the scoring. And there was only one score in the ball game. Lebanon scored in the first quarter, 435 left in the first quarter. Steve Rose with his 15th touchdown of the season as Lebanon drove 79 yards and eight plays. The extra point was no good, but it didn't make any difference as Lebanon defeats Riverdale tonight, six to nothing. Taking a look at the stats, first for Riverdale, 168 yards on the ground, 36 carries, only 23 yards passing as Riverdale completed only one pass, one of 11 for 23 yards, no touchdowns, three interceptions for Riverdale. Total yardage for Riverdale in the ball game, 191 yards. First downs, Riverdale with nine first downs, eight of those rushing, one by passing. Penalties, Riverdale was not penalized in the entire ball game. Turnovers, they had three turnovers. All of those were interceptions. Individually for Riverdale, their leading rusher tonight, Kenny McGowan, 14 carries, 55 yards. They had 36 carries total, 168 yards. Passing the night, Carney was one of nine for 23 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. And Gerald Griffin threw two passes. He was 0 of 2 for no yardage, no touchdowns, one interception. 191 total yards for Riverdale in the ballgame. For Lebanon, 206 yards rushing on 39 carries. Lebanon with 27 yards passing on four of 12, no touchdowns, no interceptions. Total yardage tonight for Lebanon, 233 yards. First downs, Lebanon with 11 first downs. 10 on the ground, one passing. Turnover's a big stat tonight. Lebanon does not turn the ball over tonight. No fumbles, no interceptions. Penalties, Lebanon penalized only one time as there was only one penalty in the entire ball game. One penalty for 10 yards for Lebanon. Individually for Lebanon, triplet, three carries for seven yards. Steve Rose, six carries for 19 yards and a touchdown. Charles Moss, 10 carries, 38 yards. Jade Sellers, his best night of the season, 11 carries for 90 yards. Tony Cantrell, nine carries for 52. That's 39 carries, 206 yards for Lebanon. Triplet tonight through the air, four of 12, 27 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. That's 27 yards through the air, 206 on the ground, 233 total yards for Lebanon. As Lebanon throws their fourth shutout of the season, beating Riverdale tonight. I'll repeat that score. Lebanon has defeated Riverdale six to nothing. What a, what a night, Terry Stafford, for this Blue Devil football program as Lebanon comes away with a 6 nothing win over the Warriors. And you talk about throwing this region race into a mess. Lebanon has a loss, Gallatin has a loss, and now Riverdale has a loss. The tiebreaker system will go into effect. If Gallatin wins out, the way it looks is Gallatin will be the regional champ Lebanon will finish second, provided we beat Beach. That means we would play a home game the first round of the playoffs. But, folks, this has been a wacky season. Let's just hang on and see what's going to happen the rest of the way. What a morning this must have been for you to sit there and watch this on the television. I hope you had the VCR running. You have seen one tremendous high school football game. For Dwight Phillips and Jonathan Richardson running the cameras and handling the commercials in the direction tonight for John Bryan down in the rain, for Terry Stafford 
on the stats with a best play-by-play -play man in high school football, Bruce Skeen.